So Leo, let's see what's coming your way and it better be good and good for you. If now you are ready for a new connection, good for you. It was about time. So, bottom of the deck for the most important energy, we don't have the Eight of Swords. You are in your mind, what's going on? Helpless and hopeless and the Ace of Swords, the clarity of belief. It's interesting, right? You are too much in your own head to see actually, um, to see the clarity in this situation. I do love the Ace of Swords, right? Um, one is Eight of Swords is um, being in your own head, you keeping yourself confined. And the Ace of Swords is the energy of, wow, now I see, is the energy of vision. Wit and, wit and smart and um, changing your belief system so that you can fit your new change, your new life. I love this. So let's see what happened in the past. We do have the Four of Pentacles. We do have the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We do have the Seven of Swords. And the Sun, here you are. Um, What else? The Judgment, Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, I know, and the Wheel of Fortune, oh my god, such a beautiful energy, but it's, it's also a reality, I'm pretty sure. Um, Sagittarius energy so far, but we have an energy of holding on to someone for too long. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Temperance might have been a Sagittarius. Um, and they might have walked away, Six of Swords, right? They might have walked away in a very dishonest way. Seven of Swords, cheating, lying, and deceiving, right? Um, this is like, um, you know, um, put it in a situation uh, where you had to seek for the truth or wanting to know the truth or trying to understand the truth. Um, but I do love the Wheel of Fortune. First of all, it's a confirmation, whatever happened, and it was disappointing, and we hold on too much, and we might have um, believed in a reconciliation of some sort, and we might have uh, made like a judgment, not a that sound of a judgment. Um, it was, first of all, Wheel of Fortune, right? It was meant to. It had a purpose. Um, and also, we have you going with the flow at the end when everything was said and done. We went for the Blossom and we went for the flow, right? Blossom is the second chance in life, the second chance in a situation, and the Wheel of Fortune is actually um, going with what is written, right? With the flow of things. And, um, and at the end of the day, I feel you are a winner because Nine of Pentacles is the energy of autonomy and independence. It's the energy of well-deserved reward over a situation that was extremely deceiving. I'm pretty sure you keep yourself hostage anyways a little bit, but at the end of the day, Ace of Swords, we start to see this for what, what exactly is. So where are we right now? We do have the Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the Sun, you must be kidding me. Beautiful energy, the devil. Six of cups. Nine of wands. Leo, we might be blocking something. And the eight of pentacles. I know it's hard. I know. I know. Um, so it might have been a third party situation. We do have the three of cups and the devil. Um, and we kind of know how this works, right? Uh, it might have been a situation that where we showed a lot of love to someone and at the end of the day it was um, all about um, devil energies. Can be can be toxic energies, can be jealousy, can be all kinds of, um, you know, can be, um, um, you know, confining energies where we are not happy, right? Um, definitely maybe you have um, shared um, a lot of love with this person and um, it ended in a, in a situation where we might be very cautious uh, because this is your current energies and the universe is saying you are in a new beginning, wanted or not. We have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, you know. You can resist it, by the way, it's not going to work. Um, and I say resistance because we are still 
connected body, mind, and soul with someone from the past. Six of Cups, Nine of Wands. We rest, we reconsider, we block, we protect ourselves. So we think that is a threat in a new beginning, but actually it is not because now we receive the Sun and the Eight of Pentacles. Dedicate your effort to shine, Leo. I feel this is your energy right now. And it's interesting it came the Sun under the Sun with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles. A beautiful energy of the universe saying, this is half destiny or part destiny, part hard work for you. So stop resisting. It's okay, Nine of Wands, right? It's okay, Nine of Wands. Uh, Self-protection, being in a corner, planning for the future, healing the wounds, it's all right. But the universe is handing you a new beginning. So let's have the possible outcome energies coming your way. And speaking of new beginnings, we now have the full, which is going to end the world, right? Endings and new beginnings. We do have the Nine of Swords. No need to worry about Six of Pentacles. What you sent out into the universe is coming your way. Ace of Swords. I know. I know. Ace of Swords, Six of Swords. Ace of Wands, honest to God, you have all the aces in the book and then some. And the Hierophant. Bottom of the deck, look at this. Love is coming, Leo. Yeah. Love is coming the minute we decide to walk away. We have move on and love. The minute we decide to open the door, give and receive, right? The minute we decide to reciprocate, bring some balance to a closed situation. So, hey, coming your way. The Fall and the Ace of Swords, please tell me. <laughs> if you, you, you don't need to know a lot of tarot to know that this is a new beginning by excellence. This is clarity of belief. This is taking a chance, taking a risk, opening up. We do have the World and the Six of Swords, and this is the universe asking you to walk away. Six of Swords is living behind tormented waters and going into environments that feel safe, uh, where you can, um, you know, really do whatever you want in an environment where uh, your peace of mind will be fruitful. And I say that because you have the Nine of Swords speaking of peace of mind, darkest fears and the Ace of Wands. It's kind of like we are afraid of a new beginning. We are afraid maybe to get hurt again. But guess what? If we send out into the universe commitment, we get commitment back. Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, so again, Leo, this is all about blessings. You must be kidding me. You have Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords again, Ace of Wands. Look how many blessings you have here. And I kind of feel we are still connected to something that was, you know, devil in energy. And we kind of need to walk away. Yeah. The world and six of swords. Your peace of mind comes from walking away from this. Um, it's interesting. It's kind of like you feel that if, if you keep manifesting it, probably it will not go away. So eventually it will come back to you. But the universe is showing you so many directions of, no, 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 it's going to be a new beginning. However, however you want to manifest it, it is written. Your, your new beginning is here. So blessings and love are coming. You do have all the aces, blessings, and we have the lovers. If you wish so, if you make the choice so, right? So let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to know and do. Wow, five times the ace. So blessings and new beginnings. What do we need to know? We need to know you are a divine feminine or masculine. Um, you are ascending. This is the energy of, forgive, of uh, forgiveness. This is the energy of kindness, of ascension, of unconditional love, sexual freedom. So maybe this Seven of Swords with the Three of Cups was actually a forbidden connection that we leave behind. And we break free from it. And now we have, you must be kidding me, from divine to sacred, Leo. From divine to sacred. And I feel the Ace of Swords is like a new path, a blessed new path. Um, I mean, full of victory, Ace of Swords. Full of wits and smarts and ideas. And um, 
you know plans and look at compatibility right and sexual freedom so we need to break free from something and move from divine to sacred through compatibility when it comes to love and connection and guess what practice compassion see things from a fresh perspective yes we are not going to fall into the same traps and make the same mistakes ah this is what i hear for you um let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow change from divine to sacred change i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement surrender to play and have some fun in the in the process and so leo give yourself over completely to prayers when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive so yeah play and pray right we do have forgiveness and i'm not surprised it comes with sacred woman from divine to sacred through forgiveness so I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love and surrender to success. I feel success in compatibility is coming. We do have love, compatibility and success might have been a matter of compatibility. And now that is a small difference, right? Or a big one. Um, so you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties leap into an exciting new world of possibilities and bottom of the deck surrender to joy we were saying prayer and play but now it's joy so fun and prayer spirituality and 3d life um so a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times keep surrendering to more joy no new blessings wanted or not new blessings i don't know if you are looking at the past the uh, the, the tarot is saying that you are actually still connected to someone looking at the past the minute you break free you have five blessings coming your way in love um so hey please stay in hope for me you know i love you take care stay safe out there and come see me next time bye